Hidden deep in India's prehistoric jungles lies a mystery that blurs the line between myth and science. A creature so massive and ancient that for centuries it was dismissed as legend. But what if the legend was real? What if the mythical serpent Vasuki, the king of Nagas, was inspired by an actual giant snake that once ruled the land? For thousands of years, Indian scriptures and temple carvings have spoken of Vasuki, the divine serpent who wrapped himself around Lord Shiva's neck and helped churn the ocean of milk during the Samudra Mantam. Most saw it as mythology, but recent discoveries have forced scientists to look again. Because beneath the earth, deep within the rocks of Gujarat, something colossal has been unearthed. Fossils of a snake that could stretch up to 50 feet in length. They call it Vasuki Indicus, and its existence changes everything we knew about the history of snakes. The discovery that shocked scientists. In 2023, paleontologists working in the Panandro lignite mines of Kutch, Gujarat, stumbled upon something unexpected. Gigantic fossilized vertebrae, some larger than a human fist. At first, they believed these belonged to a prehistoric crocodile or large lizard, but as more pieces surfaced, the pattern was undeniable. This was the spine of a serpent, and not just any serpent. When reconstructed, these bones pointed to a creature nearly 47 to 50 feet in length, longer than a bus, thicker than a man's torso, and far heavier than anything that crawls the earth today. The discovery sent shockwaves through the scientific community. For decades, Titanoboa from South America held the record as the largest snake ever known, measuring about 42 feet long. But now, India had something even more incredible, a rival that could surpass Titanoboa in both size and strength. The name given to it, Vasuki Indicus, perfectly captures its essence, half myth, half reality, and fully monumental. How big was Vasuki Indicus? Titanoboa, discovered in Colombia's coal mines, lived about 60 million years ago in warm tropical swamps. It could reach over 12 meters in length and weigh more than a ton. For years, it was considered the king of prehistoric snakes. But Vasuki Indicus rewrites that story. Fossil estimates suggest it could reach 15 meters in length, about 50 feet, and weigh over 1,200 kilograms. That's nearly 20% longer than Titanoboa and possibly heavier. Unlike Titanoboa, Vasuki lived in India's cooler, drier climate, a fact that makes it even more extraordinary. Such a massive creature shouldn't have survived outside the tropical belt. Yet, Vasuki did. That means it wasn't just a giant. It was a survivor, perfectly adapted to its environment. This single fact elevates Vasuki Indicus from a mere fossil to a symbol of evolution's power and adaptability. Anatomy of a Prehistoric Predator from the fossil structure, scientists could determine that Vasuki was not slender like modern pythons or cobras. It had a thick, muscular body, almost cylindrical, built for constriction and raw power. Its head was broad and flat, capable of locking onto large prey. With each coil, it could generate crushing forces powerful enough to snap the ribs of crocodile sized animals. Vasuki wasn't venomous. It didn't need poison. Its muscles were its weapons. Imagine a snake, thicker than a truck tire, silently waiting near the edge of a prehistoric river. The moment an animal approached for water, the ground would shift slightly, and within seconds, the mighty Vasuki would strike, wrapping its enormous body around its prey until the world went silent again. This was not fantasy. This was nature's ancient engineering at its peak. Vasuki versus Titanoboa, the ultimate battle of giants. Now comes the question that everyone asks. Who was truly the largest snake to ever live? Titanoboa 
or Vasuki indicus. By size and length, Vasuki takes the lead, 47 to 50 feet compared to Titanoboa's 42. In weight, both were similar, but Vasuki's denser bone structure hints at even more mass. In terms of habitat, Titanoboa dominated humid tropical swamps, while Vasuki survived in semi-arid, variable conditions. That means Vasuki could regulate its body temperature better, hunt in more diverse environments, and endure scarcity longer. Titanoboa had brute strength, but Vasuki had stamina, stealth, and adaptability. If the two ever met in some prehistoric fantasy crossover, the battle would be terrifying, but the Indian serpent might just win. And for the first time in history, the crown of the world's biggest snake might belong not to South America, but to India. From myth to reality, the ancient memory of Vasuki. What makes Vasuki Indicus truly fascinating isn't just its bones, it's the connection between its scientific discovery and India's ancient stories. For thousands of years, Indian scriptures have spoken about Nagas, divine serpent beings who lived underground, guarding hidden treasures and wisdom. Temples across India depict serpents so detailed and lifelike that they seem based on real observation. Could it be that these myths were not entirely fiction? Could they be cultural memories of real encounters with giant serpents that lived millions of years ago? Civilizations often turned natural wonders into legends. Maybe ancient Indians witnessed remnants of these colossal creatures or their fossils and immortalized them as Vasuki, the serpent of gods. The parallels are too striking to ignore. Vasuki Indicus bridges ancient mythology and modern science, showing us how legends can sometimes preserve the truth of deep history. The Fall of the Giant But even giants are not immortal. Around 35 million years ago, as Earth's climate began to cool, the lush forests that once covered India started to vanish. The rivers shrank, the humidity dropped, and the environment changed forever. For a cold-blooded reptile of Vasuki's size, survival became impossible. Its enormous body required constant warmth to maintain metabolism. Without the dense tropical heat, Vasuki grew slower, weaker, and eventually disappeared, leaving only bones buried beneath the earth. Yet, in a way, Vasuki never truly died. Its image lived on in Indian art, sculpture, and storytelling, a reminder that nature once created beings beyond imagination. The Science Behind the Myth Modern science has now confirmed what ancient stories only hinted at, that giant snakes capable of swallowing crocodiles whole once roamed the earth. Through advanced 3D scanning, scientists have digitally reconstructed Vasuki Indicus from the fossilized remains, the model reveals not only its massive size, but also its remarkable flexibility, suggesting that Vasuki was more agile than Titanoboa, despite being longer. The discovery has redefined paleontological understanding of snake evolution. It shows that after the extinction of dinosaurs, the planet's ecosystems were dominated not only by mammals, but also by reptiles of unimaginable scale. Vasuki Indicus was one of them a silent, slithering ruler of its time. Science, in this case, doesn't destroy myth, it completes it. It turns poetic symbolism into measurable reality. Could Vasuki still exist? This question sounds impossible, but let's not dismiss it too quickly. Even today, large unexplored regions exist across India, especially in the Western Ghats, Arunachal Pradesh and dense forest reserves of Central India. There have been strange sightings, villagers reporting moving tree trunks, massive serpentine trails near riverbeds and stories passed down for generations. While most of these are likely exaggerated, some remain unexplained. Could a smaller descendant of Vasuki Indicus still be hidden in the untouched forests of India? Biologists say it's unlikely, but not impossible. 
Every year, new species are discovered that were thought to be extinct for millions of years. Until we've explored every corner of Earth, we can't rule out what still lurks in its depths. And that tiny possibility that Vasuki's bloodline might still survive somewhere keeps the legend alive. The Legacy of Vasuki Vasuki Indicus is more than just a fossil. It's a story about India's connection to nature, about how myth and science often reflect the same truth through different languages. Our ancestors looked at the world with awe, and when they saw greatness, whether in a mountain, an ocean or a serpent, they turned it into a deity. That reverence preserved knowledge across millennia, until science gave it form again. Vasuki's rediscovery reminds us of something deeper. The world has always been full of wonders. We didn't invent mysteries. We only forgot them. Today, as we uncover Vasuki's fossilized remains, we are not just finding bones. We are uncovering proof that the stories of our ancestors carried echoes of real giants, creatures that once ruled our planet with silent majesty. And perhaps that's why, even today, Indians pour milk into snake holes, honouring the serpent not out of fear, but respect, as if some ancient part of our memory still remembers the king of snakes. Final thoughts The discovery of Vasuki Indicus is more than a scientific milestone. It's a bridge between two worlds, the mythical and the measurable. It tells us that legends like Vasuki weren't just tales of imagination, but fragments of truth preserved through faith and art. It reminds us that Earth's past is stranger, grander and more interconnected than we can ever imagine. Whether you call him a god or a fossil, Vasuki Indica stands as a timeless reminder that nature's creations once went far beyond our wildest stories. Because sometimes, legends aren't fiction at all. They are just truths too big to fit inside history books. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more inspiring content. See you in the next one.